Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, September 2nd, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. In the last few mornings, we've been talking a little bit about the Beatitudes, the beginning of Christ's Sermon on the Mount, the first dozen or so verses of Matthew chapter 5, And if one continues reading in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, you come upon some other principles that I'd like to explore for the next few moments this morning. The Bible says in verse 13, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing to to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And that's Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. And I think there's something notable about uh, these two analogies that Christ used in Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. He said, you're the salt of the earth and you're the light of the world. And in other words, you have a preserving influence and you have the potential to light, to give light in darkness. And he states this as a fact, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. I know there are probably people who wonder how much influence or how much potential they actually have. Let me say this, friend, if you know Christ as your own personal savior, You have the Holy Spirit living in you, and that is unlimited potential. That is power beyond the the limit of human abilities. And so don't ever question whether God can use you or not. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Don't underestimate the potential of your influence. And the greatest influence that you may have, at least when your family is young, is in the lives of your own children. There's nobody that has more influence in the lives of children than mom and dad do. And take advantage of that great influence that you have and use it for the glory and honor of the Lord. Be the salt, be the light. And then as you as you reach out beyond the four walls of your home, and you influence, you get to know other people, you establish rapport with other people. Remember, Jesus said, you're salt, you're light, you have great potential, you can have an influence in other people's lives. And this old scuffing the toe in the dirt, oh, I can't do much, I'm not any good, that kind of thing. Uh, You know, that may be true on some level, but the fact of the matter is, if you have the Spirit of God, You can be everything that God would have you to be. And Jesus said, you are salt, you are light. Don't underestimate the potential of your influence and use it for God's honor and glory and be salt and be light in somebody's life today. Shine in the darkness and use that influence to preserve this world and your sphere of influence from the evil that's out there. Be a preservative, be a light in the world. Jesus Christ has assigned us this responsibility, and we certainly do have the influence of potential and the potential of influence for our life, and we ought to use it to its maximum degree. Be what God wants you to be today. God bless you.